I, this is a case of um, customer asking for a request and we uh, decide to take it to a next level. So the customer asked for a few things for the Venture 4 Spectrum, which we have here. It's just a stock blaster. And uh, we came up with a whole different uh, set of ideas. So currently we have a, a thumb hole stock available for it. We have uh, two different version grips. Uh, there's a short version and a long version grip. Uh, I have two different versions of the front end. Um, this design and this and this other design, which we'll show you shortly, and we also have a uh, two versions of a, a new mag release for it. So the stock mag release is 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 about right here in this position, and you got you just got to take your hand off the grip to be able to to release a magazine. So this is the extended version. So you want to if you're if you're looking to purchase a grip. The extended version will allow you to do very quick switches. So the, from the trigger to the magazine release is only about probably half inch. Uh, the shorter version will allow you more room in here so you don't accidentally hit this uh, when, you, when you don't want to. But if you are very controlled, it's very easily done just by the flip of your fingers. To do the mag release and it's very intuitive too um, so those are available though so our website our new website is is coming up tonight uh, hopefully everything goes well our new website will be will be live tonight and everything you see here will be on the website except for I think that scope uh, but everything else for the for the spectrum will be be up there and, and it will all be on sale until <coughs> this Sunday. So you have all week and all weekend uh, to take a look at the accessories and, and see what you like. All right, so we have uh, we have different colors. Not all of them are here in the mag releases. Uh, we have orange, black, white. I think we have green, red. Um, I think there's six colors, something like that. And same thing with the stocks. Not all of them uh, are printed already, but the, the color combinations you'll see on the on the website. Uh, these are just a few of the ones that you have available to you. And we're going to show how to install this one on the on the stock gun. Uh, the only thing uh, different about this is completely stock gun except for uh, the mag release. So the mag release we already did a video on that. It's up on the YouTube. So if you're in it, interested. And purchasing that and uh, shows you exactly how to install it and it takes about five minutes I just got to remove these screws I'll take the old one out put the new one in put the screws back in it's very simple so the stock basically comes in this configuration uh, this fits on the very back and uh, of course it's a thumb hole stock so we're also going to attach two screws at the very bottom uh, here in the in the handle so it has cheek rest, bumper guard, which is screwed in in the back. So in case we come up with a new one or you want something thicker or thinner, we can we can make that and just swap, swap that out. There's two set screws in the bottom of the stock that uh, will take a 332nd hex key. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is put it on the back and you'll notice how this lines up. It should line up very, very closely. Uh, the thing you want to watch is to make sure that there's, uh, there's a little bit of wobble this way and that's why we're going to put two uh, small Phillips head screws in that. So what you want to do is make sure that uh, this is lined up this way because there is a little bit of flex in there and when we mark it to put the, the holes in for the screws, we want to make sure that's aligned center. So what we do is this is a, a 1 8 drill bit. What we can do is just take that down and just turn it a little bit with your fingers and then same on this side. And what that does is it's just going to leave a little indent in the plastic for us to drill the... See that right there and there? And they should be even. It should be the same distance from the split line to the, the one mark as, the, as it is on the other side. Otherwise your stock is going to be offset. So we're going to take the five 
hex uh, by 64 drill bit. And we're just going to take those marks, line up the drill bit, make a hole for each side. the stock on, drop the screws down in, there's a Phillips head screwdriver, I think it's a number one screwdriver, yeah, number one, now you want to be very careful not to, to over tighten these because this will, will strip, this plastic is very thin on the bottom of the gun, so you only need to give it a few turns until you start to feel tension. Once you feel tension, don't go no farther. So, it's not going to come off. Even with these screws not even uh, tightened down. But what you want to do, take a 332nd hex key and just snug these up. Okay, I'm only going to tighten the one down just for time purposes. But uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a, a front end and put that on. So, as I said, there's two different versions. We have this design that has a, a small lid in the front and a shorter Picatinny rail. It also has Picatinny rails on both sides and also the bottom. And an orange safety cap in the front. The other design is much wider, has a full Picatinny rail across the top, and uh, the front end is screwed on to the, um, to the body, so this is replaceable in case, you know, maybe you want some other design, or maybe we come up with another design, you can just take this off and put the new one on. Again, Picatinny rails on both sides, top and the bottom. It's very simple. And make sure you, you get the, the rail on the top of the gun lined up with a slot in the, in the body of the kit. And you just slide it on just like that. Now there's going to be a few set screws in the bottom and a few on the top. Again, for time purposes, I'm just going to snug one down using a 332nd hex key. And it won't come off. Okay, now we're going to pick a grip. Uh, we have two different size grips. They're both the same design. There's just uh, one short size and one long size. And you can see the difference between the lengths here. And these are both Picatinny mounts. So they'll not only fit on this gun, they'll fit on some other guns that, that have Picatinny mounts on the bottom of them. Uh, it's not Nerf guns, but some of our some of our body kits have Picatinny rails on the bottom of them. So it's just not limited to uh, this specific design. Although it has been designed specifically for this gun. So you'll notice that this line here matches up identically to the, the body of the gun. And in this case, this is the shorter one. And you can mount it wherever you want. Put that a little bit too far, but you can mount it all, all along through here. Once you get it in the desired position, 332nd hex key. Snug that down. And the last thing, uh, we're going to have these scopes available. Right now they're only available in orange, but we're going to have them available in red and Maybe some other colors in the future, but uh, definitely the red should be up here and uh, and a little bit on the website. Don't take too long. But again, you take a 332nd hex key, get it in the position you want it. It's 
snug it down. And there you go. There's a full body kit for the Spectrum. I'm going to take the top off and put the other design on real quickly just to show you what it looks like. Same method. Just snug that one down. Grab a different grip here. And the scope. There's the other design. All right, so don't forget about our, our sale on the website. Like I said, hopefully we'll be up tonight and uh, there'll be no issues. And uh, if you have any comments on the new website, please uh, send us a message. I'd like to see if there's any uh, any flaws or anything? If you see anything, it'd be appreciated if you'd send me a message on on uh, what your thoughts are on the website. All right, thanks for watching.